Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Wong. Today, I'm going to share with parents on how they can use newspaper articles to help their child in oral skills. Newspaper articles are a good way to expose your child to informational text types. Reading real-life stories in newspaper articles is an interesting way to get your child to know a little bit more about this text type. Previously, we have used newspaper articles to help your child in closed passages as well as comprehension. Today, I'm going to use newspaper articles to help you help your child hone his or her oral skills. Before I go into the four different activities you can do with your child, I would like to help parents select appropriate articles for their child for this activity. What are three things parents need to take note of to select articles? Number one, the article has to be interesting and suitable for your child. It can be based on your child's interests. It can be on sports, animals, music, or even politics. Pointer number two, the article has to be easy to digest as too many technical terms will not be able to help your child in the understanding of the text. Point number three, the text has to be of a good length, as a lengthy article will not be able to sustain your child's interest. Now, let me show you an article I have chosen from the Straits Times. What can parents first do with this article? Step one, arouse your child's interest to the title as well as the picture. What does your child think about these two areas? I'd like to address the topic first. The phrase ups and downs. What does this mean? In this title, it would mean that a particular job has its ups and downs. However, if you look at the picture, it would have a different meaning. It would actually mean the delivery man in this picture going up and down the mountains every day to deliver items to the villagers living up in the mountains. Having gone through this step, parents can now move on to activity two. Getting your child to read aloud. How can parents do this? Before you get your child to read to you, Parents can first model good reading to their child. Parents can read the first two paragraphs first and while reading, do take note of these three pointers. Number one, pronunciation. If parents are unsure of how to pronounce certain words, do check out the online dictionary as they have a pronunciation function. Step two, do take note of your pace, not too fast or too slow, as the pace of your reading will affect the listener's interest and understanding of the text. Number three, expression. Monotonous reading will affect the interest of listeners as well, so do take note of the way you read. After reading the first two paragraphs to your child, it is now your child's turn to read the next two paragraphs. While reading, parents can help their child to correct mispronunciation of certain words as well as to give suggestions on how to improve on their reading. It is good to break up the entire article into chunks as this would help your child in the understanding of the entire passage. The next activity that we can move on to is vocabulary. Parents can use new words learned in this article to help enrich your child's vocabulary. Do get your child to keep a notebook to record down new words learned and their meanings. Parents can discuss the meanings of these words and try to use them in context so that their children can use these words in future writings. The last activity that parents can try with their children at home is the stimulus-based conversation. Do discuss the content of the article with your child. 
using open-ended questions. Open-ended questions allow your child to articulate his or her thoughts or opinions. Do not ask closed-ended questions as these questions will only allow your child to answer a yes or no as their answers. Let me give you some examples on open-ended questions. Do you think this job is tough? Why or why not? Why do you think this man is continuing his job despite its difficulties? Would you be able to do what he is doing now? Why or why not? Now, these thought-provoking questions will allow your child to think on his or her feet during the oral exam in his school. Parents can even go one step further to ask creative thinking questions so that their child can think out of the box. For example, do you think there are other ways that this man can deliver these items to the villagers in a safer manner? Are you able to come up with an invention for this? Now, the above four activities can be done separately or in one sitting, depending on your child's attention span as well as time availability. Do try these activities at home with your child. Not only will this help your child to become better speakers and thinkers, it is also a good way to bond with your child at home. Have fun!